So everyone seems in wanting to install Google Camera on their phones or the Pixel Camera which is available only on Pixel uh, phones of course uh, because well this Google Camera can take pictures and blurring that background almost perfectly. There are also third party apps that can do that but they can't do it perfectly and I've made a video like a few months ago uh, showing you how it works on a, on a Huawei Mate S and the video did actually pretty well but then there are some dislikes from people who can't install the app or from people who couldn't download the app because I've let on that video I've put the links in the description for Android 6.0, 7.1 and 8.0 like all detailed but of course there are always people who can't download the easiest things but they're not my links so I don't have any authority in downloading from those links and uploading them by myself so I'm gonna show you today how to download for your device so let's jump straight into it So first of all, come into the browser and you can do this on PC or you can do this directly on your phone. Enter this link apkmirror.com slash apk slash google minus ink slash camera. Press go and it will go to this website. Uh, I, have, I have entered the website but it's the same link. And I like to use this link because this link has all the versions available. The newest one, older, older ones. And before you download any of the version, go into your phone settings and check what's the version number. Because it's very important. My phone has Android 7.0. Also another thing that you're gonna need is allow unknown sources. So come here and search for unknown sources then go unknown sources and enable unknown sources because without this you're not gonna be able to install an app outside the store so let's go back to to the browser and how I have Android 7.0 if I go to the newest one to the newest version uh, it will require Android 8.1 or 8.0 yes 8.0 so I need 7.0 or below that so let's go back and search for for a version that is available for my 7.0 Android so if we go for example to 4.2 version 4.2 Let's go down here and it says Android 7.1. I have 7.0 and not 7.1, so it still will not work. Let's go back, a search for older version, see more uploads. So uh, I've, I've tested that already and all the versions with number four, they are available for Android 7.0, but versions with uh, three, starting with the number three, they are available for Android 6.0. 6.0 or above so let's go for example android um, 3.2 and see it's available for android 6.0 so okay so this one will work for my device but just try one of the, or the other one uh, i'm gonna try the second one because it's the arm 64 i'm gonna press on this number then it will take you to here and now you might have some uh, some ads popping up. Just press close. Uh, if I'm gonna get them, I'm gonna show you. I'm not gonna cut these parts. Um, press here, download APK. Don't press in any of these because these are all ads. Don't press in anything. Just press here where it is verified safe to install. Press download APK. Now my, might appear some ads. My maybe mine might not appear. Uh, for me it didn't appear but for you might appear your download is starting and here it started my download okay press go or oh, okay and it's starting downloading press then press install and it will install without any problems if you enabled unknown sources now that it's done let's press open and this is the google camera yes this is the this is the older version but well for my android device the, the newer versions doesn't work so here you can play with the settings uh, it do doesn't have a lot of settings but you can choose your resolution uh, back camera maximum 8 megapixel but my phone has 16 megapixels so this uh, how this is older version it doesn't allow very high uh, settings but well if you have android 8.0 the newest one then you can install the newest uh, app available so come here going to lens blur now when you press let me show you with my hand so i need like this and if i press to take a picture i need to move my phone up and then it takes the picture now it says rendering image 
now I can press on this button right here to change the blurriness okay here I take I've taken another, another picture just now with my hand here and this one works pretty well for example if I slide the, if I slide the slider here I have less blurriness and if I slide it all the way up I have a lot of blur in the background just check it works really well with this one so uh, it doesn't work with all the pictures that well because this is the older version but well uh, you will have to play with it so just press done it will render the image and it will apply the blur so you can see the blur applies kind of not 100% correctly but well it does the job at least with, with hand not really that much um, then you can slide here to the video part and to the picture part but of course with this application and it has as well slow motion with this device but of course i wouldn't use this application for all the pictures or for taking videos because how this application is older it doesn't allow my fully uh, resolution available because i have my this phone has 16 megapixel available but this application only sees 8 and in the front one sees 5 it's fine and this phone has, can shoot as well in 4K, but here it can shoot only in 1080p. So I will use this app only for this selfie blurness background mode. Let me try to take another picture of my face to see if it will work good. Let's go here in lens blur, switch the camera, and let's try to take a picture. Swipe up and boom. Let's see if it's gonna work. But again, how the microphone is in my front. Oh, it blurred the microphone now. Yeah, it blurs the microphone <laughs> and the background. Uh, but it, this is way too much blur. But if I press like this, or no blur at all. And then some blur here. It blurs, but uh, this one is actually way too blurriness. But well, just take a look for yourself. It blurred the microphone here pretty well, but it blurs as well my body, but only the face kind of stays unblurred. So you can see uh, it works good, not on all the pictures. So I, I will say that uh, in this picture it worked much better, in this one didn't work so much, and in this one it didn't work at all because there's no blur in the background. This one didn't work as well. This one it worked, but so and so. So yeah, it doesn't work with all the pictures. So like I've said, you'll have to try to play with it. Uh, if you have a newer version of Android, then you can install, of course, the newest version as well of this Google camera. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.